I do without you? No. No, you. You complete me. Brought to you by Gospel of God's Grace Ministries. Ah. When you relate with Jesus, Jesus. power, matter, is born. Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man, and death through sin, and in this way death came to all men, because all sinned. So, this man sinned. As a result of his sin, death was born. And this death began to spread to the whole world. It is the death that we are looking at and that we are seeing today. Good people, what is death? Death in reality is a separation from life. Say death in reality is a separation from life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and what? I cannot tell the church. Life. Yes. If he is the life of all men, when sin entered the world through the other men who was Adam definitely it means man was separated from Christ or from God I'll just give you the example of fish and waters if fish exists in the absence of what? Water, there is no what? There is no fish. So if mankind exists without life, so then there is no man. When I say life, I'm talking about Christ. If man exists in the absence of Christ, there is no life. And if there is no life in the life of that man, definitely there is death. And if there is only death, then there is no reason for existence. So Jesus is the salt that gives saltiness to life. He seasons our life. So if we are salt, we try to live without saltiness. We are good for nothing. We are good for what? So it means Christ is my saltiness. And I am the salt. So if I try to detach, to take the saltiness from the salt, I am no salt. I am no what? Salt. Whatever purpose I was born for, I will fail to accomplish. Remember, we are on the scripture. Sin of one man brought what? Death. To the world. Uh, that is what we are talking about. The reason why Jesus died on the cross. He came to cancel the mistake. The error of that other man. Jesus said, if he pull you out of sin like he did, he said, if you continue in sin, you crucify him again. Put him back on the cross. You make him naked. That's Corinthians chapter 15. Verse 12. How is it that some of you say, that the sin that came through Adam cannot be replaced by the righteousness that came through Christ. How is it so that there is a common belief that no man can be perfect? How is it that there is so much doctrine that says there is no righteousness, only God is righteous. That is, we continue to sin. And scapegoat. Scapegoat is no man is perfect. Brother, my sister, 
Sin came through Adam. Righteousness came through the second Adam. How is it that that you are saying there is no resurrection for the dead? If you continue to live but in sin you are dead, how is it that there is no hope in you for righteousness? Why is it that you do not have hope that tomorrow or now you shall get rid of sin and live righteous? How is it that you do not believe that life should enter your dead life? If Christ died and was raised about to see you, if the salt lost its saltiness through Adam, how come now that we say Christ has been raised? Why is it that our salt continue without saltiness? Why is it that our prayer? Our prayers are ineffective. Why is it that we have faith in God? But our faith is futile or empty, powerless. Why do we confess Christ in power? Seated in power. Talking power. That we continue to live powerless. Also, then we say by his stripes we are healed. But we fail to seize him sickness. If he died and was raised, there is resurrection. The saltiness of the salt has been restored. Prayer should be effective. My prayer should be like the prayer of Elijah who said with the power of prayer that for three and a half years there shall be no rain that some at my word nature had to obey Elijah 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 was a man like me, a man like you, but because his salt had saltiness for three and a half years, there was no rain. He is the very man who came back and said, Let that be right. I have. If I am a righteous man of God, if my sword has saltiness, I have power to say, HIV, HIV, be no more in my blood. And there shall be no more HIV. Because my soul has saltiness. Do I have people here? I can let back over. Do I have Christians here? I can let my I'm trying to give you the true meaning of the death of my father. He died to bring back the saltiness for the soul. He died to resurrect the dead. If I was dead in my sins, and then I know that he died, and I decide to embrace him, to believe him, preach him. That is the end of my story. Our saltiness as Christians is power. Say my saltiness. No, 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 no. Give me what I'm looking for. Say my saltiness as a Christian. Say it is. Say it is. Now let me tell you what is power for Mataki. Power Mata is the child. I said power Mata is the child of a relationship with God. 
When I talk, fuck the boo. How I shall talk, ma ta ta. When I jump, fuck the boo. How I shall jump, ma ta ta. When I look, how I shall look, ma ta ta. When I sit, how do I shout? Sit, I talk. Jesus, Jesus. Why? Don't worry. I have a relation. Get out of my salad. I said, when you unite. When you rely with Jesus, power is God. Power to heal the sick. Power to deliver the oppressed. Power to prophesy. Power to bless. Power. Power. Power to save. Power to do what others cannot do. I'm sent today to bring the saltiness to your salt. Preach it. Yes. As long as your sword has the saltiness, that's what I came to do here. I don't know if you are listening to what I'm saying. Whether you are poor or rich, it doesn't matter as long, as long, as long, as long as the saltiness of your soul is restored. That's what I came here to do. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I have Christians. Do I have citizens of heaven? Jesus. If indeed Christ has been raised from the dead, then you should rise from the Preach it. Preach, prophet, preach. It is time for us. Get back. Uh. It is time. Shake off your shame. Shake off your dust. Shake off your sin. Shake off your dead. Get into the light. I don't know. If I have people here, Richard, it is time. Leave masturbation aside. Kick it. Kick it away. Fornication away. Lies away. Idolatry away. Evil away. It is time. Richard, listen to me. I'm sent to tell you there is resurrection for the dead. Those who called you a dead man, they are just about to call you a resurrected man. Something is happening in somebody's life right now. There is resurrection for the dead. There is hope. For you, there is life for you. Yeah. Your marriage will resurrect. Your business will resurrect. Your finances will resurrect. Your job will resurrect. The affection will resurrect in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.